Welcome back, everybody. So yesterday, the uh, the second trailer for the Bad Batch dropped, and uh, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, <laughs> so I actually have a lot of knowledge on this topic. I uh, haven't made it through the whole Clone Wars series yet. We didn't get Disney Plus until I think uh, middle of last year, and we spent quite a bit of time uh, watching a lot of the other content. We we've watched all the seasons of Mandalorian. Um, but I am making my way through the Clone Wars, um, and that leads us to um, Bad Batch. Uh, so what I am familiar with is that the Bad Batch is um, uh, basically it was referenced uh, at the end of the Clone Wars when the Order sixty six was given. You had a small batch of clones who um, wouldn't kill the Jedi. That's the Bad Batch. Now that was um, it was. They tried to, tried to basically make the story like their programming didn't quite take. Well, in the trailer, we actually see that it's more like Tarkin wanted a small batch of, of clones that were more like special forces. He refers to them as enhanced. We'll, uh, we'll go through the trailer and we'll, we'll break it down. Um, in the trailer, he refers to them as an enhanced group of clones. Five enhanced clones? It's a small group. Uh, that will be more powerful than any other army. And then um, he he comments that uh, that they 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 do well, but they don't follow their orders. Um, and that's gonna that ends up being the issue. They didn't follow orders, so they end up being according to the trailer. It looks like they end up being on the run. <clears throat> um, but let me go, let me go through it. Okay, so af after Tarkin gives them this test, uh, it looks like it's Wrecker uh, at the end there, who, who's like, give me some more. Uh, give me more! And that is probably the point at which Tarkin realizes um, that these clones are not gonna be quite what he wanted. He wanted enhanced clones, but he also wants clones that will follow their orders and do exactly what they're told. Uh, and that's not going to be this group of clones. Then Hunter refers to um, their squad as nothing but trouble. Nothing but trouble. Um, but also says we get the job done. But we get the job done. Well, the problem is, again, Tark Tarkin doesn't want a squad that gets the job done. He wants a squad that follows orders. Um, to th basically, they want uh, they want they want to be able to control all the clones. They want. They want um, full allegiance because at this point, um, it's the 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 imperial army is made up of clones. There's no, I don't believe there's any conscripts yet. So they want uh, all the clones to um, follow orders completely. We then get a montage of all of the the clones in the Bad Batch uh, along with their names. So we we have Hunter. Uh, I actually can't quite make out uh, the second clone's name. Then we get Tick. Wrecker and Crosshair. Now, Tick looks like he's um, probably, I guess, more like an engineer. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe something like that. I'm not sure. He he seems to be the one in the in the montage. He sets the coordinates for jumping into hyperspace. Wrecker is a demolitions expert. Is the way it looks like from the trailer. He likes to blow stuff up. Uh, and then Crosshair. He's our sniper character. Um, and he's basically he's a uh, He's just an excellent, an excellent shot. He's kind of, I guess he'd be kind of like the, a dead shot character. He's looking at someone through a sniper rifle, takes a shot, hits the guy right between the eyes. Hence the name Crosshair. He's he's gonna get you if he if you're in his sights. Then about halfway through the trailer, uh, we get the scene of Tarkin saying he wants Clone Force ninety nine found and wiped out because again he doesn't want these guys around. They again they're really good at what they do but they don't follow orders and he wants 100% obedience from all of his clones. So it looks like the series is gonna be centered around this bad batch of clones uh, being constantly on the run from the Empire. Empire largely uh, treats the clones as though they are just, they're just throwaway. Um, this is contrasted a bit during the Clone Wars um, with the Jedi who, the Jedi, um, they know that all the clones are just copies of each other, but at least what I've seen, Obi-Wan and Anakin uh, and Ahsoka, they treat the clones uh, as individuals, uh, as, as though each of them um, have value. Uh, the Empire doesn't see it that way. 
the Empire at large sees the clones as they're just there's something to be used and tossed. They don't care if a thousand of them die um, in the in the name of order. That's that's just the way they'll just order a thousand more. So it looks like they'll be on the run. Uh, they'll be joined by a few different characters, uh, and it also looks like the series will somehow lead into, um, or possibly lead into episode four, probably lead into the time period of where Rogue One takes place. Uh, and I think it's also, I think it's quite appropriate that the series is going to launch on May 4th. Um, may the 4th be with you. <laughs> I think that's actually a, a really fantastic uh, day to launch this show. So that's all I got right now for the Bad Batch. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm going to have to, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to get on to watching um, more Clone Wars uh, episodes so I can get through the series. Hopefully I can get through the series in the next month uh, so that I'm ready to go right into uh, Bad Batch and and prepare for all the Easter eggs that, that I'm sure that they'll put in there. But that's all I got on this on this trailer. Uh, let me know what you all think of, of this trailer. Go ahead and post your comments below. Uh, what do you think might happen? What do you think we're in store for? Uh, how, do you, how do you think that the, sh that the series is gonna go? Uh, I, th I think it's gonna do really well. It looks looks really good just from this second trailer. Uh, and if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified of future videos. And we'll see you in the next one.